The Division I AA title is on the line as Etiwanda faces Modern Day. And in a moment eerily similar to last year, Tommy Stangle walks out on crutches just like Andy Brown did last season. Okay, forget the creepy deja vu. Tyler Lamb doesn't want to relive last year's loss. He scores in the Monarchs' first possession. What's that you say? You want another helping of Lamb? Does this dunk satisfy you? Modern day up, 14-10, going into the second quarter. Take a look at Etiwanda's big man, all 6'3 and 225 pounds of Tyler LaCour knocks down a three ball. And later, the Eagles fast break to Aaron Crockett as they actually outscore the Monarchs 21-15 in the second. To the third, and it's Byron Wesley. He spins his way to the hoop and drops in a floater. Later, Modern Day deflects the ball, and Gary Franklin is looking for Kiala King. The pass is off, and he somehow catches up to the ball and scores. In the final quarter, Wesley cannot be stopped. He travels his way to the hoop and later sizes up King for a picture-perfect floater. So here's the play that will be talked about for quite some time. Etiwanda is down 68-65 with 5.2 seconds left, and the Monarchs are looking to foul. It appears Eli Stalzer fouls Evan Jenkins, but no call. Modern Day wins their first title since 2006. Actually, the plan was to not foul um, in the act of shooting. And I guess we hit the ball out or something. So, I don't know. I'm so happy that we won. In the final play, we pretty much we tried to foul. But, um, you know, the refs, we, we just got the win pretty much. Well, we were trying to foul as they were coming down the floor and sent them to the free throw line because we had a three-point lead. They threw over the top, and our guy was lucky enough to strip the uh, man of the ball. So we're very fortunate. It has come around full circle for modern day's Kiala King. Just two years ago, he was playing with Compton's Dominguez and defeated modern day in the CIF finals. Now he finds himself winning another championship, this time with modern day. He told me, I never thought that would happen. Reporting from Anaheim, I'm Jonathan Camus for OCVarsity.com. Yeah.